Our mission was to conduct a hostage rescue raid on October 22nd, 2015 in Hawija, Iraq. Um, the Kurdish regional government reached out to the United States um, for assistance for a hostage rescue raid. For this mission, I was the assistant team leader. My team was responsible for one of the buildings that the hostage was being held in. What was significant is that there were freshly dug graves, and if we didn't action this target, then the hostages would probably be executed. At that point, it was our duty to bring those men home. That's when you make that transition from soldier to warrior. And that's when all joking stops, and that's when you do your last minute checks, and that's when it's game time. Okay. Ramp drops, it's a complete brownout. Um, part of the compound was already in a pretty intense firefight. As we maneuver to our building, we throw up the ladders, mother. Part of my team maneuvers to their blocking position. Uh, that's when we hear that there was a man down and it was Master Sergeant Josh Wheeler. And that's when one of my teammates looked him right in the eye and said, follow me. Cut the locks on the prison doors and open the cell, and you know over 25, or about 25 hostages in, in one cell, and probably 11 in the other. And um, you see their faces light up, and they're being liberated, and uh, some are crying, some are excited, and while this is going on, there's still an intense firefight going on in the other building. You can see the flames, you hear the, all the explosions going on. And they hear on the radio an uh, urgent call for assistance. And that's when I looked at a teammate, told him, hey, let's get in the fight. And he said, let's go. Then when we're on the roof, you, you know, the enemy's right below us, the smoke and the kind of repelled us from maneuvering down. And that's when you they're yelling at us and we're yelling at them and you know, we're employing small arms and hand grenades on the enemy combatants below and that's when you hear um, suicide bombers initiating their suicide vests right below us and shaking the rooftop. Once you're able to control your fear, that's the bridge to personal courage. And personal courage is contagious on the battlefield. One of the teams was holding down the breach point all the way down to the last magazine. You know, bullets were passing through their uniforms and peeking the breach, and I see the same prison door that was on the the other building. call for a set of bolt cutters and um, Sergeant Major's like, hey, I got you. They begin engaging many combatants in the back room. Um, there's a small foyer that I was able to maneuver into and cut the top lock. Took the bolt cutters back from him. It's difficult to breathe. Smoke pouring out, it's hot. I was able to cut that bottom lock and it bumped out and tell him, hey, CQB, CQB. Um, close quarters battle. That's when we hear that the building is starting to collapse. So the building is starting to collapse. We're getting shot at, it's on fire, and we have hostages inside. 
It was a mandatory evacuation call. So my sergeant major is pulling the guys from one of the rooms and I'm like a third base coach, waving them, waving them through the initial breach point. And I snatch ISIS flag off the wall, stuff into my pocket. I see that the train of hostages had stopped. So I grab one of the hostages and moving through the breach point to get the train of hostages going. Run back into the building and notice that uh, one of the hostages had given up on, basically given up on life. So he's, he's over 200 pounds, a big fella, and uh, so I basically grabbed him, you know, by the back of the collar and drug him through the breach point. At that point, uh, then I ran back in for one last check. You know, then my sergeant major told me that, hey, you need to get him out of the, um, get him out of the other building. So basically made a human wall and to allow the hostages to pass behind us. And, you know, as we engaged the other building, we had to cease fire so the hostages could run behind us because they would stop. Our sergeant major pulls us in and he informed us that Master Sergeant Josh Wheeler had been killed in action. And that's when our teammates tell us what Josh Wheeler did that day. His last words before he moved to the sound of the guns were on me. The Medal of Honor represents everything great about our country. And for me, I don't consider myself a recipient of this medal. I consider myself a guardian of this medal. And what's important for me is that my teammates' legacies will live on with this Medal of Honor.